Here's another tip regarding how dimensions are placed on a drawing. A metrologist friend of mine calls it Compound Angles 101. Keep in mind when applying basic dimensions, unlike directly toleranced or plus minus dimensions, that it really doesn't matter how they're placed in the drawing from a design intent standpoint. In fact, many companies now are leaving the dimensions off and letting the supplier query the model. I see a lot of people locating holes that are at compound angles by locating one point or one end of the hole in space using three dimensions and we see that on this drawing. First let's check out our datum features. Here's datum feature A and datum feature B is the hole and then C stops the rotation so that gives us our origin right here. Then we have this 29.2 dimension coming from our primary datum plane and the 11.7 coming from the plane passing through datum feature B's axis but we need one more dimension to locate this point in three-dimensional space and that is this 10 millimeter dimension. So now I've located this point in space and then the axis goes off at this compound angle. This can be kind of difficult though when you have the part in your hand to actually find that point. Keep in mind that this 10 millimeter dimension is going to the surface and that surface isn't going to be exactly at the basic location when you're holding the part. There's a profile of 0.8, which means that the surface could be 0.4 that way or that way. So trying to find this point in space can be difficult. A different approach is, once again, we have the same datum features here, but I've put the views so they're projected so that I can look straight down the axis of the two holes. So first we establish our origin of measurement and then in my inspection setup I would flip it to the compound angle so that I'd be flipping it twice, once to this 30 degree angle and then to this 30 degree angle. But that would give me a view straight down the hole. So now the dimensioning becomes simpler. From my 000, zero origin established by my datum features, I have the 78.7 dimension and then the 14.3 and the 30 dimensions. But they're not locating a point in space, they're locating the axis. So I can then measure the holes to find out how much they've deviated from their basic location. Thanks Eric for inspiring this tip. We are always looking for better ways to define and control part geometry because a techies GD&T rules. I'll see you next tip.